Hello everyone. This is part four in a series on C++ templates. And today we're going to be looking at something called the Curiously Recurring Template Pattern, or CRTP for short. So to start this example, we're going to have a class shape, which is going to be an abstract base class. And we'll have uh, two concrete classes. We'll start with square, which is shape, and it has one dimension. And we also have a rectangle, which has two dimensions. And one thing that we'd like for our shapes to be able to do is we'd like to be able to clone the shapes. So when I say clone a shape, I would like to make a copy of the shape on the heap. So a new dynamically allocated one. So there are two problems on the screen right now. The first one is that I copy pasted some code. And as programmers, we hate copy pasting code. So this clone function and this clone function are exactly the same, except for the name of the type changed. And if you watched the first part in this series, I said that another name for templates is parametric polymorphism. And the word parametric refers to parameters. And it says that it's a type of polymorphism where the implementation stays the same. And the only thing that changes is the parameter types. So here, the only thing that has changed is that the parameter type changed from square to rectangle. The second problem is that these are not actually virtual function calls. So if you had a vector of shapes and you wanted to clone them all, you could not call clone through the shape pointer because these are not virtual. So the first thing that you could do is you could say, well, I will make uh, the clone function be pure virtual. And then all the classes which inherit from me will need to override this function. And now we've at least solved the problem of being able to call it through a base pointer. So we still have the problem where we're copy pasting this. So what we could maybe do is then say, well, maybe we can try and do something with templates, right? So maybe I don't need to actually copy paste this. Maybe I can do something like actually implement it in the shape base class, right? So I could say, well, I'll put a template here and I'll say that I am going to just clone whatever this is. This could actually even be a T. So then we want to see, well, what would this look like when we try and use it? So first thing we'll do is we will include vector. We can make a vector. We'll have a vector of shape pointers. Um, it's called B. E, push back a new square and a new rectangle. And then we would like to go through all the shapes in the vector and we would like to call clone and get some sort of shape back. <coughs> so the problem here is that clone doesn't know what type it should use because there's no kind of argument to give it a hint. And what you could do is you could say, well, I'll force you to clone a shape. And I'm just going to put a line here so I can put a breakpoint here. But the problem that we have is that if we make a new shape, right? So if we replace this T with shape, then even though we have a square that's calling clone, it's only going to clone the shape part of it. 
right? So we're kind of slicing it. We're losing information about it. So here, this clone has no members in it. It doesn't have this int x. So this isn't a solution to our problem. So the problem is we need to have some better information about this type t. And this is where we introduce this curiously recurring template pattern. So what we're going to make is we're going to make a shape CRTP. And once again, that just stands for curiously recurring template pattern. As you might kind of guess from its name, it probably is a template of some form. So here we have a templated structure. And what we can do now is we can say that we're actually going to inherit from this shape CRTP. And for the template type, we're actually going to give it ourself. And I just want to kind of emphasize how weird this line is, right? Because we are declaring this structure square. But at the same time, we're saying we inherit from something which is templated on our type. And this is so bizarre that they gave it this funny name, and it was actually kind of discovered by accident. So we'll do the same thing with this rectangle. Wish it would not do that. <laughs> And because we still want our types to act as shapes, and we want a vector of shapes, we don't want people to have to kind of give us this template type in our shape CRTP. We'll say that this is the one that inherits from shape now. Right, so a square is still a shape. Uh, what happened here? I, oh, that's what I had that window, that picture in picture. So square is still a shape, but it's a shape as it passes through this shape CRTP. And what we're going to do here is we are going to put our template here. Because now we have some information about this t, right? I know that this t is whatever my parent, no, my derived type is, right? So it's actually deriving from me. So a square derives from a shape CRTP templated on a square. So this has knowledge about the fact that it's a square, right? That was our problem. When we had this function inside of shape, and we were trying to make it a template, we didn't have any knowledge about the type to help us. But now we have some knowledge about the type. So what we can do is say we're going to return shape. But what we can do here is we can do a static cast to our type. And we can put this virtual, this pure virtual function back in the base class. And this is technically virtual and an override. We can get rid of this explicit type we were trying to give. And if we put a breakpoint here and we run through it, um, from above them to rectangle. What's wrong here? This is a static cast. Shape CRTP override. This, this is a T pointer. So if we run this now, the first one is a square. And if we look at C, we can now see that it has, well, it actually sees that it's a square and it has this x equal to 1. And then if we hit a 5 again, the second one is a rectangle with x1 and y2. So we can call this function virtually because in the base class, we, uh, we de define this uh, pure virtual function, which all of the derived types need to override if they want to become uh, concrete. But rather than overriding it in each of the drive types, we have this curiously recurring template pattern 
which can get information about the derived types and then use that information to create just one implementation, which is the same. All right, so our square and our rectangle are still shapes, but before they go to the shape, they're going to go to this common class, which has just enough information now because it's templated on the concrete type. It has just enough information to implement clone, which has the same implementation for every type. The only thing that changes is the parameter. All right, so the important part here is that we don't need to call clone and give it a type. It knows what its type is. And you can use this type appropriately to call the constructor for your type. And so if you imagine that this was the rectangles copy constructor, the rectangles copy constructor needs a rectangle as an argument, right? So I know that I want to call the rectangle copy constructor. I'm calling it through the virtual function. So my this is a shape. So I need to cast it to the actual type. So I know that the shape pointer is actually a rectangle, right? So you can static cast it. You could also dynamic cast it, but here you're going to be certain that you know what the type is. So you won't just do a static cast. So you construct a rectangle from the shape pointer, which we static cast to a rectangle pointer. Then we dereference it. So we have a rectangle reference. And then we can have this clone that works for any type. And if we wanted to add another type, for example, you could have a triangle. And the triangle would be ready to go. And that's all you have to do. You don't have to implement a clone in each of the derived types because there's no point, because they're all exactly the same. You just want it to use the copy constructor of whatever your type is. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching.